Hi, I'm Victoria and in this video we are going to discuss what is robots.txt file, how it works and how to create it on WordPress website. Let's go! To better optimize your website, you need to ensure that search engine bots can crawl your most important pages. To help you in that process, there is a file called robots.txt. It helps direct search engine bots to the web pages you want them to index. Robots.txt is a file containing instructions for search engine robots telling them to crawl or avoid web pages, uploaded files, or URL parameters. In simple words, the robots.txt file tells bot crawlers, hey, you can look at this part of the website, but don't go there. To understand how it can benefit your website's optimization, let's talk about the search engine crawling process. When someone creates a new website, search engines send their crawlers to discover and collect information required to index a page. Once web crawlers find information, such as keywords and fresh content, they will add the web page to the search index. When users perform a search, the search engine will fetch the relevant information from indexed websites. Without a robots.txt file, the bots may index pages not meant for public view, or even fail to to visit your most important pages. Plus, modern websites contain many more elements than just web pages. For instance, if you're using WordPress, there's a high chance that you will install plugins. Doing that also means downloading the plugins directory, which might show up in your search engine results even though they aren't relevant to your website content. More importantly, without a robots.txt file, there can be too many bots crawling your website and slowing down its performance. That's why I highly recommend having a robots.txt file on your website. Creating it won't take long and you can make the file as detailed as you want. And fortunately, maintaining it is also easy even if you don't have any technical knowledge. When you create a WordPress website, it will automatically generate a virtual robots.txt file located in your site's main folder. You can see your website's robot.txt file by adding slash robots.txt after its domain name. If you are curious about a certain website's robot.txt file, you can view it using the same method you'll see a file similar to this. That's a basic robots.txt syntax, which in this example consists of three lines of rules. You can add or remove any rule according to your site's needs. The part after user agent declares for which bots the rules below apply to. In this example, we can see an asterisk, which means the rules apply to all crawler bots. If you want to create a rule for a specific search bot, replace the asterisk with the name of the bot, for example, Google bot. The rules below are both disallowed directives, each followed by a website directory. In short, this robots.txt file tells all bots that they shouldn't crawl your WP admin, and WP includes directories. Those folders contain many sensitive files that your audience shouldn't see, so it makes sense to have those rules. Besides that, you can add as many rules as you want. For example, Amazon's robots.txt file disallows all bots to crawl several pages. However, the robots.txt file that WordPress set up for you by default isn't accessible. If you want to edit it, you will need to create your own file and upload it to your root folder. Now that you know how a robots.txt file works, I'll show you how to create your own file with four different methods using Yoast SEO and all-in-one SEO plugins or manually via HPanel and FTP client. If you have already installed Yoast SEO, you can go directly to the tools menu. But if you haven't, install and activate the plugin first. Hover over the plugins menu and choose add new. Type in Yoast SEO on the search bar, click install, and once it's complete, activate. Now you can configure your site's SEO setting. After completing the installation wizard, go to the tools menu. Find the option that says file editor. It lets you edit HD access file directly on the WordPress dashboard. Now let's click on create a robots.txt file. It will open a text editor where you can tweak it. Note that the directive lines like user agent, allow and disallow are not case sensitive. 
but the directory values are case sensitive, so pay close attention when writing its syntax. For instance, product in lowercase indicates a different path than product in uppercase. Also, typing a single slash as a directory value means your entire site. Meanwhile, leaving it blank means nothing. Let's see an example. If you write this rule, it means you are blocking all search engine bots from crawling your entire site. Meanwhile, if you leave it blank, you are allowing all bots to access all sections of your site. Now let's move on, on to another method. If you prefer using all-in-one SEO plugin, the process of creating a robots.txt file is as easy. To access all-in-one SEO dashboard, you'll need to install it, activate the plugin, and complete the configuration wizard. It will automatically import the default robots.txt file generated by WordPress. To add specific rules for your site, go to the Tools menu. Switch on the option Enable Custom Robots.txt to open the file editor. All-in-one SEO has a beginner-friendly interface, making it easy to create rules. To add a rule, start by entering the user agent. Next, choose either the Allow or Disallow directive, then add desired directory path. If you want to add more rules, just click the Add Rule button and repeat the previous steps. Once you're done, click Save Changes. The rules will be automatically added to the robots.txt file, which you can view by clicking the Open robots.txt button. Another option is creating a robots.txt file manually and uploading it via Hostinger's HPanel or an FTP client. First, you need to create the robots.txt using text editor software like Notepad or TextEdit using the syntax I showed you earlier in the video. There is no limit to how many rules you can add, so I recommend adding the sitemap directive which will tell search engines the location of your XML sitemap file. An XML sitemap lists a website's essential pages so that search engines can find and crawl them. It helps them understand your website structure as you want to make sure search engines crawl your most important web pages. If you use an SEO plugin like Yoast or All-in-One SEO, it will automatically create the sitemap directive once you set up an XML file. If you want to learn more about what is a sitemap and how to create one, make sure to check video I linked in the info card. After listing all the rules, save it as .txt file. Note that the file name is case sensitive, so you must name it robots.txt all in lower case. Now that you have the file, access your HPanel dashboard and go to File Manager. Open the public HTML directory, now drag the robots.txt file from your local computer and drop into the public HTML folder. The uploading process will only take a few seconds. You can also use an FTP client to upload robots.txt file. Start by connecting your website to an FTP client like FileZilla. If you need guidance on how to do that, I included a video tutorial in the description below. Once you're connected to your site via FTP, navigate to the public HTML folder. All you have to do is upload the robots.txt file from your local computer to your web server by dragging and dropping it into the folder. It should take only a few seconds for the uploading process to complete. Make sure to test your robots.txt file every time you change its content to prevent any mistakes from affecting your site's SEO. Google Search Console is great for that as it includes a robots.txt checker. That's it, you'll learn what the robots.txt file is, how it can benefit your site's SEO and how to create it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and for more videos about SEO and website development, subscribe to Hostinger Academy. Good luck on your online journey!